Acumatica 2020 R2, we have a few things that help us when we're adding tables to a generic inquiry. The first thing we have on the Tables tab is this Add Related Table button. We've also got on this tab this Description column. This is new. And then on the Relations tab, we have Add Related Table and Add Relations. They're all related, but uh, all those things, if I, if I switch over to this 2020 R1 environment, you'll see we don't have the button. We don't have the description column, and on the relations tab, we don't have the buttons. So this is new in 2020 R2. And let's try building a generic inquiry here based on AP bill lines. So I'll add my AP TRAN table, which has the line information. So far, this is normal. You'll see, though, that this description column that I have, this is new. So if I maybe expand this a little bit we can see that it gives me a description of the table that I added so these are the lines and then this is where the to me the real powerful stuff is now this add related table if I click on this it fills in AP tran on the top because that's what I had highlighted and then down below it's showing me all of the tables that are related to AP tran if you scroll through here you can see these are all related. These are tables I might want to add related to AP TRAN. And it also tells me what fields I should link on. And that's the real tricky part when you're adding tables. So it's really nice that it's displayed right here. So let's say I wanted to add the AP invoice table. It's telling me what columns I should include in my join. So there's my link to. And over here, these are my link from. Now, it's not only displaying them but it makes it even easier because all I need to do is select the line, click Select Related Table. It fills in this information up on the top. It gives me the relation in a SQL statement, which is just informational. And then I can scroll down and click Add. So with just a few clicks, I not only added the AP Invoice Table on the Tables tab, but now on the Relations tab, you can see all this that information was filled in for me. The join, including the fields down below. And these buttons allow me to do it, I, I think of it more as after the fact. I could do it here, I could do it here. For me, practically, the main button here is on the Tables tab. When I'm adding a new table, I just click this and it adds the table and the joins all right in one spot for me, which I think is really nice. Now just to round this off, the old way you had to do this is you had to go into a screen and, and do inspect element on that screen or you could also have gone to the source code screen but this is the way I would do it. Just go to a screen, click on a field with the uh, inspect element right here under customization, pick a field and then go to actions, view data class source. This would pop open that source code screen and it would take me to the data access class for that data access class. Now, Acumatica, technically, these are data access classes that we're working with. The, they just are named tables on the generic inquiry screen, probably because it's a shorter name. But table data access class, uh, you could think of them as being the same thing, even though technically they are a little bit different. But you used to have to go in here and click on the keys and you'd find those fields that you would include in the join in here. Uh, actually, I would do it down here um, or up here. But it was a lot messier, a lot clunkier. And then you had to add the, still add the relations manually. So it's definitely a lot nicer that you don't have to do that anymore. You can just pop right into the generic inquiry screen and use those new buttons.